How you going, you legends? Let's have a look at how the Cybertruck is doing out in the wilderness. As we know, 80% of the time I don't review stuff through my own experience, I review it through other wankers' experience. And so far, the Cybertruck experience is looking a little dodgy. This isn't the futuristic future I was promised. What if aliens land and try to invade? Come on, Cybertruck, we need you to work. Blast your way up there, blast, come on. Yep, nah. Honestly, was it not a shit omen from the start? That's a shit omen. What a shit window. I don't care how you downplay it, Muskie. This vehicle will not be helpful in any science fiction context. Yep. Nah, here's a handy tutorial on how to get your door to close if you are the new owner of a cyber truck, because closing a door is pretty important. There we go, duct tape. Duct tape is how you do it. Well done, fuck. Yeah, nah. It seems like the core issue with the Cybertruck is that it struggles to do truck-based things. Like, for a truck, it's not very trucky, the way it gets stuck all the time, everywhere. Yeah, nah. When it's around other trucks, it seems to panic the most. I don't know if the Cybertruck feels like it has imposter syndrome or what's going on with it mentally, but yeah, it constantly needs other trucks around it to show it how to be a truck. It's not its fault, I guess. Like, I don't blame it. Yeah, nah. At this point, Ford could make a full 30 second ad showing Ford towing Cybertrucks. They wouldn't need to say anything. Everyone would whip their dicks and tits out and just buy a Ford. Crikey, the bloody Cybertruck even managed to ruin Christmas. This one has had a full nervous breakdown. It's barely left the dealership and collapsed out of crippling anxiety about joining the other fucking cars on the road. An overhead gear selector. Innovation the world never knew it needed and it's fallen off, so chuck sticky tape on it like your door latches, then it will work. I'm a big fan of electric cars, by the way. I'm not weirdly, aggressively passionate about petrol. I don't get why Muskie is obsessed with this truck is all. People have always taken the piss out of it big time from the outset. It's been like bloody Zuckerberg with his bullshit metaverse phase. Remember that? Why? Oh, this one is stuck. There's no way this one is not getting stuck. For a vehicle that tries so hard to look mean and badass, it seems like it should be used for granny trips to the supermarket and back. Go grab your milk and essential items within a kilometre of your home and drive it back again. Don't push it. Stuck, 100%. Stuck with the kids in the back. Couldn't get more stuck on a family holiday. There's got to be some successful side quests out there with the Cybertruck. I'm sure there is, but fuck it. I'm not one to get excited about the wins. It's the fails that get me up and going in the morning. Is that a Ford rescuing it? If it is, that is bloody hilarious. Go on, out you get, back to the garage for a mid-strength beer and a charge. Let's go full circle, check in with how this one is going from the beginning of the video. Still fucked. Even if it reverses, I don't think it can reclaim its freedom which is a big issue. Americans love freedom. If the Cybertruck traps them instead of frees them, they will freak the fuck out. Muskie should know this with all his absolutionist freedom banter. Come on, you bloody fucking bin on wheels. Get up there. My IT guy is reporting today that Cybertrucks are being recalled over an accelerator getting stuck issue. He's like, you see, it's, they use this glue like primary school and if the glue comes unstuck, it can slide up and the accelerator gets stuck. Which sounds terrifying, but no one panic. Just give your cyber truck back. That's what, it, that's what Marquez says. Oi, cheers to all you big bloody beautiful bastards that have signed up to me Patreon and subscribed to me Substack account. The URLs for those are in the uh, post description. Patreon.com slash Aussieman and AussiemanReviews.com is my Substack account. You can follow me there for free and you get email notifications when new videos are out so we're not dependent on the stupid algorithm that's just serving shorts and fucking bullshit. So yeah, and you can do paid subscriptions as well. You'll get some behind the scenes content and I've got a deleted scene for this video actually because community guidelines I would have breached it if I used it So I'm gonna be able to do fun things like that on these accounts I really appreciate it if you follow me on there AussieManReviews.com and Patreon.com slash Aussieman. Thanks so much everyone Aussie Man,